Now, make yourself comfortable. Focus your eyes on any object in the room, any object that is appealing to you. Just stare at it. Now take a deep breath. Hold it. And exhale. Relax. Continue to focus on this object. Take another deep breath. A big deep breath. Hold it. And relax. Exhale. Continue to focus on this object. Now, when I tell you, take a third deep breath and hold it until I tell you. Now, take a deep breath. Hold it. Now close your eyes and exhale. Now I'm going to count from three down to one. With every number I count, you take a deep breath. And each time I say the word, relax, just let that breath rush from your body and enjoy the relaxation. Three, deep breath, relax. Two, deep breath, and relax. One, deep breath, really deep breath, and relax. Relax your thoughts, relax your body, relax and go deeper. That's it, good. Now continue to breathe normally and relax. Now I'm going to count from three down to one again this time, I want you to focus your attention on the muscles I am calling to your attention. Three, relax your head, neck, and face. You may feel your head fall forward or to the sides, or rest right where it's at. It really doesn't matter. You don't need to focus on holding it up. Allow every muscle, every fiber, to release and relax. Releasing and relaxing. Two, Relax the muscles in your neck and shoulders and feel the relaxation flow down through your arms and all the way down to your fingertips. Each muscle, each fiber, releasing and relaxing, one into each other, releasing and relaxing. One, release the muscles in the stomach and allow the relaxation to flow down your legs and feet like a series of dominoes, one into each other, releasing and relaxing, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, releasing and relaxing. Feel the warming, soothing relaxation, starting at the top of your head and flowing down to the tips of your toes, releasing and relaxing. Now be aware of your spirit in your body. Move or shift your spirit one inch out of the top of your head. Then move it one inch out of your feet. Then move it one inch out of the back of your body. Then move your spirit one inch out of the front of your body. Now, move your spirit six inches out of the top of your head. Then move it six inches out of your feet. Then six inches out of your back. Then six inches out of the front of your body. Now, move your spirit one foot out of the top of your head. Now, 
one foot out of your feet. Then move your spirit one foot out of the back of your body. Then move your spirit one foot out of the front of your body. Now we're going to move your spirit three feet out of your body. So move your spirit three feet out of the top of your head. Now move it three feet out of your feet. Now move your spirit three feet out of your back. And three feet out of the front of your body. Now we're going to go six feet out of your body. So move your spirit six feet out of the top of your head. Six feet out of your feet. Now move your spirit six feet out of the back of your body. Now move your spirit six feet out of the front of your body. Now you are completely out of your physical body. Continue and move your spirit up to the ceiling. Turn around and look at your physical body sitting or laying there. Now, go through the ceiling and up to the roof outside. Now, float up into the sky. Now, return back to the roof. Now, go back up into the sky. Continue floating up higher and higher until you see the curvature of the earth. Now leave the atmosphere of the earth. Look back at Mother Earth and send her love. And feel her sending love back to you. Now begin floating further and further away from the earth, past the moon. See the earth and the moon getting smaller. Now look over at the sun and send it love. And feel it return love back to you. Continue to move further and further away from the Earth and the Sun and towards the planet Venus. Look towards Venus. See it getting closer and closer. Now enter its atmosphere. Feel its warmth. Now descend down to its surface. Look around at its beautiful mountainous terrain and up at its thick atmosphere and clouds. Walk around a bit. Now hold the desire to find the gate to the realm of Aphrodite. You'll be transported to another spot on Venus. Now see a golden pentagram in front of you and watch it turn into a portal. Step into that portal. Now you'll be transported in the realm of Aphrodite. This is the realm of romantic love, both emotional and sexual energy. This realm is the source of this type of energy. Just by entering, 
you have increased this type of energy within you. You've changed your energy to forever become more physically, mentally, and emotionally attractive. You'll be surrounded by vibrant and radiant colors unlike anything you've ever seen in the physical. There will be lush vegetation and beautiful flowers, mountains, and giant crystals. You'll see exotic animals and beings of light roaming about. Then you'll be greeted by two very attractive human-looking spirits. They'll be extremely friendly towards you. They'll lead you through a valley of indescribable beauty where Aphrodite resides. But it's not time to meet her yet. Now you'll walk through this valley and there'll be lots of these beautiful people around you. These are emissaries of Aphrodite, living embodiments of the energy of romantic love and sexual attraction. If you are attracted to men, they'll be male. If you are attracted to women, they'll be female. If you're bisexual, they'll be both male and female. They'll all be extremely attracted to you, physically, mentally, and emotionally. They'll all project deep love and attraction to you. You find them incredibly attractive as well. Now, feel them sending energy of romantic love and attraction into your energy field and feel it become part of your energy and who you are. Feel this energy radiate from you. It is now part of you. Now, depending on the number that you are comfortable with, run off with either one or many of them and fulfill your wildest romantic and sexual fantasies with them. As you do this, Feel yourself taking in the energy of attractiveness and love. Feel absolute pure bliss. When you are done, let them lead you further down into the valley. Here you will come to an area with huge rows and rainbow quartz crystals coming out of the ground. Then you will come to a large crystal cave where Aphrodite resides. You will be greeted by more of her emissaries at the entrance and showered with love. Then you are led to the beautiful goddess, Aphrodite. She looks at you with a deep, unconditional love and acceptance like a mother looking at a child. Then she lifts her right hand and sends beams of white, green, and pink energy into you. She is the source of romantic love, sexuality, and attraction, and the ruler and keeper of this energy. This is the very source of this energy. So it is from the very source of this energy that you are receiving it into your energy field and is now forever a part of you. Your energy has changed. You have now become magnetized. Your energy is like a magnet attracting others to you romantically and sexually. From now on, anytime you want more of this energy, all you have to do is ask and she'll send it to you. She is always at your service and you now have a direct line to her. She also has more gifts for you. Now she places a red flashing beacon in your energy, just above your head. This will attract your soulmate and make you more noticeable. Then she places another object in your energy, just above your forehead. This is like a GPS tracking device, leading you to the right place at the right time to find your ideal soulmate. Then she gives you another gift near your heart. This object feeds you constant feelings of self-love. Then she sends you another gift. She places this one near your navel. This serves as a filter, blocking out those you don't want. 
Then, she has one last gift for you during this meeting. This is a special gift just for your choosing. Now take a moment to just visit with her and bask in her energy. Now when you are ready, thank Aphrodite for her gracious gifts. Then leave her a token of appreciation. Remember, these gifts are forever a part of you. And know that just by visiting the realm of Aphrodite and being in her presence, your energy is forever changed to contain more romantic love and sexual energy. You have been to the source of this type of energy, and you could return any time you want. Now it is time to say goodbye to Aphrodite. Allow her emissaries to lead you back to the portal which you entered this realm. Step through this portal and back to the surface of Venus. Now go up into the sky of Venus and back out to outer space. Fly back towards Earth. See Earth getting closer and closer. Pass by the moon. Then enter Earth's atmosphere. Descend down towards your physical location. Stop at the roof. Then slowly descend down through the ceiling and into the room and slowly enter back into your body. Move around a bit and open your eyes.